Good morning, wonderful. This is Dr. Chukka Shantaya, Associate Professor of the Computer Science and Engineering. Today, I discuss about the machine learning basic concepts. What is the meaning of machine learning? As well as what is the main need of the machine learning? Various types of the machine learning. How we can discuss about the problems in machine learning? We discuss one by one. Right. First, come to the introduction about the machine learning. Machine learning nowadays play a major role in human life. Here we discuss we are mainly two things are there. Machine is there as well as learning is there. Machine is a system or device. Learning means we can earn something, we can gain some knowledge from the learning. So, machine can be learned. How the machine can be learned? As well as what are the basic concepts are there in that machine learning? In that machine learning, mainly focused on machine can be learned automatically or machine can be get some experience making for making some performance based on user requirements or user queries as well as the machine can be analyzed some various complex issues like discussion about the problems real time problems or human being problems those problems are not handled by the human being the machine can be handle the Problems. Let us come to the definition about the general mean definition about the machine learning. Machine learning is a mixture of computer science and statistics. Before give some uh, about this definition, I can give one hint about the machine learning. Actually, machine learning is a subset of the artificial intelligence. Means the various come to the artificial intelligence, the machine can be act or behave or think like a human being. Means how the human being is react based on the various circumstances or situations. The machine can also think as well as the machine can also respond. The machine can also do some operations like a human being. That is about the artificial intelligence. Whereas definition is there about the artificial intelligence also. Artificial intelligence is nothing but a, a branch of computer science. And it can be solve some problems or do make some actions especially complex issues like a human being as well as it is reacts based on the human thinking also how the human is make some actions based on the various incidents or various situations in daily life that machine also can think like that like a human being and act like a human being. That is comes under the artificial intelligence. Whereas come to the machine learning, how machine can be learned something means which can be learned automatically based on some historical data or based on its available resources. Means how the machine can be learned. The machine can be learned based on the we are trying the machine means we are trying the machine 
based on that, that, that training, the machine can be learned. So, means especially the machine can be learned something based on the, its performing some actions and getting some, gaining some experience. Based on that, it is acts, think as well as solve some complex issues. Right. Machine learning is a growing technology which enables computers to learn automatically from past data. Means the machine learning is nothing but a it enable a machine. It can be learned automatically from the past data or the historical data. Means, whereas come to machine can be, it is the machine can be enabled to learn. Here, machine means computers. Computers to learn automatically from past data. Means the machine can be automatically learned based on the available data or historical data or post data. Here we can think what is the meaning of available data or historical data as well as what is the meaning of the what is the meaning of the uh, historical data or post data like that. Historical data is nothing but the already database is stored in the machine. Based on that machine it can be learned. Or star in the means available existing data means already some problems are solved by the machine that data is stored it is comes under the existing data. So like that the machine can be learned automatically based on the its historical by using historical data or with the help of the past data. As well as machine learning uses various learning algorithms for building mathematical models and making predictions using historical data or information. Means the machine learning, the machine learning uses the various learning algorithms, uses the various algorithms to build a mathematical models and making predictions using historical data and information. Means that is machine can be learned based on building some mathematical models and making some predictions. Means some historical data is available or information is available based on that it is prepared some mathematical models. Based on that mathematical models, it prepares some predictions, it may be make some making some predictions. Why? Because already some database is available. So based on that, it is automatically learn. Make some issues, make some predictions without any human intervention. As well as the currently. The machine learning be used for various tasks such as image recognition, speech recognition, email filtering, Facebook auto tagging, recommended system and many more applications. Means this sentence is describes applications or areas or domains of the machine learning. What it contains as well as what are the various fields are there about this machine learning. First one is Image recognition. It is very, very useful as well as we have real time experience about this machine learning image processing applications also. Simple example about this image processing is the image recognition. We can take some other updation or maybe we can change, for example, in case you may be generate the duplicate other card. Means we try to generate duplicate other card. We are go for the some other other centers and try to duplicate, generate the duplicate. But whenever the machine can be the system can be recognized by your iris as well as fingerprints, this automatically displayed. Yes, this matching you are giving uh, means we are giving input data as iris as well as fingerprints or thumb impressions automatically give some information about the yes this relevant information is uh, matched with some x other card number and it is somewhat it is already information is available in that why because it is the database is stored historically it is stored and making some predictions make making some decisions you can prepare an other card original or duplicate that is the thing about that image processing we can take one more thing about the example image processing. Means 
about this specially we discuss mainly on focus of the some images again we can try for the other another example like we can create some pan card number or a fake uh, duplicate pan card like that there is also missile link is a play major role and next one is speech recognition means especially security issues the machine can be recognized speeches means we can if we can make we can prepare we can make we can put some passwords some security issues about the your laptops or your mobiles or some of your security homes your personal uh, the homes or maybe your personal environments like some research organizations they provide some passwords like speech recognition about some keywords or some other key hints about the issues next email filtering email filtering means email we receive number of mails from that mails the message can be automatically filtered how it is filtered based on incoming messages incoming mails which one is relevant which one is goes to the inbox or which one goes to the empty dump or maybe spam folder we should not any interfere but the message can be automatically filter filter means is there any advertised they advertise is there any advertisement related mails is automatically moved to the spam spam folder or basic main information is there is there any main information automatically it goes to the inbox or maybe primary inbox means machine can be automatically works without any our involvement without any human being intervention so that is about the email filter as well as facebook auto tagging means based on your interest or based on your request means your age parameter or maybe your mobile contact contact numbers or maybe your interest areas or interest persons automatically give some information about the auto tag means so it will automatically the uh, facebook will send some friends request please add friend or maybe something you make some you make you, you made some comment on that picture on that email on the facebook content if any person or if any other person may react or maybe give some make some comment automatically get some notification means the sake ex person or maybe your friend may be make some comment or maybe your friend may be give some comment on that same issues or same photo or same image or maybe same video or same audio that is about the automatic tag means actually don't need that information but the machine can be automatically do it auto tagging next recommender system here recommender system is comes under the business applications means where is come to the based on your interest like for example nowadays number of online shopping online platforms uh, online uh, purchase uh, online selling platforms comes uh, comes to the world like amazon flipkart or various things means like various discuss various things means like various online sources are there online selling platforms are there so in that online selling, for example take some uh, amazon online selling online business in case means for example you can search for a laptop about the iphone laptop or maybe uh, dell laptop it is automatically based on your interest first we can uh, try to search for the apple laptop it displays the all relevant information that are relevant relevant product to the apple and then we can move to the dell it is also displays it is also display the all the relevant information about the dell company but there is some classification is also there based on your interest it is classified types of the process means generations of the process as well as you can take some classification about the cost there is also cost cost parameter means about the in between the uh, 30 to 50000 one category then 50 to 60 to 60000 one category 
again above uh, 60 to 70 another category and then 70 to 1 lakh another category means based on your interest automatically it give recommendation classification automatically give us some information for example initially you can search for the Dell laptop about the configuration like uh, uh, 11th uh, I, I, uh, i3 processor as well as some generation or uh, i3 processor 10th generation or 11th generation like that it displays the all companies first we can base on your priority Dell company next Lenovo or HP or Acer as it's like that displayed based on same configuration based on your configuration requirement from that you can select the best one which one is suitable for you based on your constraints like cost or duration or need of the various parameters so like that the machine can be think the machine can be give recommendations without any other person's instrument based on your requirement so means especially we discuss when it come to the each and everything about the applications domains about the machine first one is image recognition comes under some research oriented speech recognition comes about the security issues email filtering comes about the mail filter email daily lives facebook about the social media recommended system daily needs means like this each and everyone is has some classified research security as well as mailing communication and social media and recommendations lifestyles so about this all parts of these applications the machine learning can be play a major role why because the machine learning is a major main part of the human being it has some various applications various needs of the customers so based on that the machine can be play a vital role in not only these applications in many more applications right introduction the machine learning along with the wide range of the machine learning techniques such as uh, supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning means these supervised and unsupervised as reinforcement learning is also called so called call types of the machine learnings are the classification about the machine learning supervised unsupervised reinforcement here the name indicates somewhat here some identification about the linear pronounce some term supervised means some supervision is required in some machine learning algorithms unsupervised means there is no requirement of the any supervisor okay was the name indicates itself unsupervised there is no need of the any supervision and reinforcement reinforcement re mean repeat Enforcement means some application about some force or some action. This reinforcement means means we make some action. We take negative feedback or negative feedback. Again, we can stop it. Means the same action should not repeat again. Why? Because we can get the some force, negative force. It comes in the negative positive results or positive force. Again, we can do the same operation. That is thing about the this. Classifications are the types of the machine learning. Means some ranges about the machine learning. As well as you learn about the regression and classification models, clustering methods, added Marco models, and various sequential models. This comes under the types of the machine learning models with some concepts. Right. Finally, what is technically machine learning? The machine learning is defined. In different ways based on the customers or experts. Suppose we can ask some question in a class. What is the meaning of machine learning? Somebody says machine learning is nothing but you learn something. Somebody says machine learning is a branch of computer science. Or somebody says previously, like it is a combination of the computer science as well as statistical analysis or somebody says the machine can be learned automatically like that means why because we can define anything that definition is depends on the 
perception of the person or perception of the expert. But some, some similarity is there in the definition. Like that, what is the meaning about the machine learning according to some expertise? In the real world, we are surrounded by the humans. We can learn everything from the experiences with their learning capability. And we have computers to our machines which work in our instructions. But machine can also learn from the experiences as experiences are fast data like human does. So here that comes about the need role of the machine learning. Means the human being can be learned making some operations to do some actions and gain some experience based on their learning capability. Means the human can be learned based on its requirement or based on its needs, based on its works. So automatically the machine, the human being is learned like that. How the machine can be learned and how the machine can be do some operations. What it is contains. In the picture contains about some human being as well as machine. The human being is asked about question to the machine. I can learn everything automatically from the experience. Can you learn? Means the human can be asked the system or machine. Question. Means the machine, the human says, I can learn everything automatically from the experience. You can learn? Machine can give a reply immediately. Yes, I can learn. I can also learn from the data, past data with the help of the machine learning. Means the system can also give answer. The machine can also be give the response based on the human question. Yes, I can learn. I can also learn from the past data with the help of the machine learning. Means the system can also learn with the help of the machine learning. Right. Machine learning is said to be a subset of the artificial intelligence that mainly concerned with the development of the algorithms which allow a computer to, computer to learn from the data and the past experiences on their own. The term machine learning was first introduced by the Arthur Samuel in 1959. We can define it in a summarized as follows. Means the machine learning is a part of the artificial intelligence and it works based on the machine learning algorithms, based on the learn something with the some algorithms. So, finally, what is the meaning of machine learning as per Arthur Samuel? It is defined by the some other, some research scientist about the machine learning. His name is Arthur Samuel in 1959. How it is defined? The machine learning enables a machine to automatically learn from data, improve performance from experience, and predict things without being explicitly programmed. Means the machine learning enables, means the machine learning is a keyword, or the machine learning is a somewhat a main team, main icon or main token means the machine learning is enables a machine means the machine learning is enables a machine to learn automatically to automatically learn from the data means the machine learning is enable a machine to learn automatically from the data improve its performance from experiences means improve its performance based on the experiences and predict things predict things without being explicitly programmed means external programs whereas come to this definition is divided three parts means the machine learning is machine can be enables means machine can be enabled machine learning Enables a machine, means machine to learn automatically from data, from data. Machine learning, means machine to improve performance from experience. And machine learning predicts things without being 
external programs. Means the machine can be learned automatically from the data. And machine improves its performance based on its experience. And machine can predict some things, predict things without being external programs or external force. Means in machine learning it defines three ways. Learning something, improve performance, and making predictions. Machine can be learned something. Machine can be improve performance. And machine can be make some predictions. Here learning automatically, improve performance but from the experience and predict things without being external programs. Means the machine can be automatically learned. It is comes under the one issue. As well as improve performance from its experience. It is another issue. And predict things without being external programs or external program. That is three categories. Three issues are there. Three key points are there about the machine learning definition. Finally, we can define as machine learning is nothing but a, a machine can be enabled machine to learn automatically from the data. Machine can be improve its performance from the experience. The machine can predict, make some predictions without any external programs. Three areas, three things are there. Means learning, improving, and predicting how the machine can be play a major role, especially three issues or three aspects about this. Issues. Right. With the help of the sample historical data, which is known as training data, machine learning algorithms build a mathematical model that helps to making predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed. Means the machine can be learned something from the historical data or it is also training data by using some machine learning algorithms and make some mathematical models. Based on the mathematical models, it helps making some predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed. Means the machine can be learned something historical data and it makes some building, some uh, algorithms, uh, uh, machine learning algorithms based on the mathematical model and taking some decisions without any external effort. The machine learning brings computer science and statistics together for creating perspective predictive models. And previously starting, say one word. The machine learning is a combination of the computer science and statistical analysis. So the machine learning brings computer science, computer science and statistics together to creating predictive models. And machine learning construct or uses algorithms that learn from the historical data. The more we will provide the information, the higher will be the performance. Means the machine learning construct the use or constructs or uses algorithms that learn from the historical data. Means the machine can be constructs or uses some algorithms. From that, it can be learned something. And the more data we can provide, we are expecting the more performance from the machine or system. We provide the less data, we expect the less performance. So like that means, whenever we can give more information to the machine, it analyzes more and performance also more. We give the one less data, it is also less analyzed and less performance. That is about the definition about the machine learning as well as various aspects. How does machine learning is works? How it is works the machine learning? Machine learning system A learns from historical data, builds the prediction models and whenever it is receives new data, predicts the output for it. The accuracy, of the accuracy of predicted output depends upon the amount of data. 
as a huge amount of data helps to build a better model which predicts the output more accurately. Means it is machine learning is learn something with statistical data and preparing some prediction models and whenever it is requires new data again it is predicts once again analyze once again and provides the output for it and then we are give the some some data means more data like more information or more data we can get the more performance as well as better performance right how the machine learn can be works i try to explain with the this figure suppose we have a complex problem where we need to perform some predictions so instead of writing a code for it for it we just need to feed the data to generic algorithms and with the help of the, these algorithms machine builds the logic as per data as per the data and predict the output machine learning has changed our way of thinking about the problem the below block diagram explains the working of machine learning algorithm that means whenever how the machine can be learn how it is works based on this figure i can try to explain it means first we can take the some example input data or input past data it is about the training it is also called training data we can apply the machine learning algorithms to the training data we can learn from the training data or maybe example data or past data and building the logical models by using some generic algorithms or various algorithms not only generic algorithm different set of algorithms there is a board supervised or one supervised or like that is there a new data may be adding after analyzed as well as after machine learning apply again we can add it again we can analyze it then only it is provide the output means the figure shows especially we can take the some input data here itself that input data is also called training data means whenever we can get some input data from here on that input data we can apply the machine learning algorithm means machine learning algorithm means we can apply the various algorithms machine learning algorithms whenever we can apply the machine learning algorithms on the training data we can learn something means learn from the training data or example so from that learning we have some building logical models about the thoughts means we can take some input data for in the first, the first one and we can apply the some machine learning algorithm algorithms on that data based on that machine learning we can learn, we can build some logical models based on some mathematical models or based on some algorithms like generic or maybe supervised or non supervised learning algorithms after completion of the building data means about the some logical models if any new data may be arise in the databases that data is also adding to this model this about the this machine it is analyzed means adding adapting the new data or new adding data and it is generalized and it is analyzed by itself and provide the output means we have some you observe one observation is there about this especially how the machine learning is works some secrets is there first we can take some input data that is about the past data we can apply the first step we can take some input data as a training data second step we can apply the some machine learning algorithms on that training data based from that training data we can get some output that is about the building means about some information learning data we can build some logical models third step and some data may be adding is there any maybe new data is available new data will be generated so from that we can add the same new data updated information and analyze it and provide the output to the machine that is important next concept is 
what is the need of the machine learning? If any technology comes to the real world, or if any technology or any development is taking place, or maybe there must be some need is there, some purpose is there. Means, if any new technology is innovated, any new, new technology is installed or maybe developed or maybe implemented based on some needs or based on some requirements. So, like that, how the machine learning is needed, as well as what are the main objectives are there, what are the main purpose is there about to introduce the machine learning to the in your life as well as in your technologies. Right. The need for machine learning is increased day by day. Means the machine learning is increased day by day. The reason behind the need for the machine learning is that it is capable of doing tasks that are too complex from a, for a person to implement directly. Means especially the first need of the machine learning is some complexity is there especially to handling the data. Why? Well, because some calculations or some other some mathematical calculations is not possible by the human being. The machine can be tried to solve some complex problems without any human involvement. Next one. As a human, we have some limitations. We cannot access the huge amount of data manually. So for this, we need some computer system. And here comes the machine learning to make things easy for us. Means the human being has some limitations. The human being has some limitations. Especially the human being cannot be handled a huge amount of data. Cannot access the huge amount of data. For this, we need some computer system. Means we need for some machine. So here becomes the machine learning to make things easy for us. Especially if it takes about the huge amount of data, it is not possible to handle the data. Especially biological information. Biological data. Why? Because the biological data is day by day is increased, day by day is updated. We can take some example, present current situation database about the COVID-19. Means, COVID-19 is especially, it is a virus, invisible virus. And it is biological data, means biological data, number of cases are raised, number of Data is raised as well as number of data is produced day by day as well as one by one, one by. So it is not possible by the human being to handle that. Why? Because the human manual calculation, manual analysis is not possible. Updated about some symptoms, about the some databases. So automatically it requires some mission. We need some other support. That is about the computer system or mission. And third one, what is the third need of the third purpose of the or third need of the third reason for the machine learning? We can train the machine learning algorithms by providing the huge amount of data and then and let them explore the data, construct the models and predict the required output automatically. Based on the human machine learning, we can give the huge amount of data to the machine. It is predicates itself, predicts itself. And do you give some results directly automatically? For example, take some example about the COVID vaccination. It is not a complex issue, but some data. Why? Because in our country, take some vaccination program is going and rapid uh, increase day by day based on the requirement, based on the needs of the peoples. They are taking some vaccination, they slot a data. 
For example, we can try, take some first dose about the any type of the drug is Covaxin or Covishield. For example, takes about the uh, more available of the medicine is drug is Covishield. The observation period is nearly 90, 82 days or 80 to 90 days, for example. Means first we can take some first dose. That observation period is required for to take the second dose. Before the observation period means before 84 days or 90 days, we maybe try to take the second dose, second vaccine, second dose of the vaccination about the COVID shield. The machine can be given the directly reply. Why? Because whenever it takes a minute, they, they um, medical staff give the COVID vaccination. They record, they are noting about your other card number as well as mobile number. For the second dose, maybe enter the mobile number or other card number. Automatically, it is updates. Means the observation is not, not completed. So we are unable to give the second dose vaccination. Why? Because some observation period is not completed. Means number of the means nearly uh, lakhs or crores of the people are there in our country. Everyone is taking some vaccination. Nearly, I think approximately as per data analysis, nearly three, co three crores people are taking vaccination. I think in our state, in our states. So, whenever we can enter the other card number or mobile number, it is automatic directly give the output about the where you take some vaccination, which location or which place, which country, sorry, which state or which uh, district or which model or which village displays each and every automatically. Means the medical staff is not medical staff is, medical staff uh, staff is not analyzed about the your database. But once they enter the some other card number or mobile number, automatically it is displays its information. Next, the performance of the machine learning algorithms depends on the amount of data. And it can be determined by the cost of cost function. Means the machine learning performance mainly depends on the amount of data. How much amount will give the data to the machine? And some cost parameters also. With the the machine learning, we can save the both time and money. Means as a human being, we are unable to handle the huge amount of data, and we need to handle the most huge amount of data. We require to pay the some cost. We can pay the some cost. So to avoid that one. We require some machine learning. The machine learning can be save the machine, save the time, as well as save the money also. Next. Next one is the importance of the machine learning is can be easily understood by the use, use cases. Currently, machine learning is used in self-driving cars, cyber fraud detection, face recognition, and friendization by the Facebook extra. Means these are the other applications about the some um, i file lives for the human beings. So means self-driving cars, it is tried to develop the self-driving cars. Implement some like Tesla cars, somewhat driverless cars. As well as cyber fraud detections about the some financial issues, financial issues, face recognition, previously discussed, and friendization by the Facebook based on your interest. So next. Various top companies such as Netflix and Amazon have built machine learning models that are use a vast amount of data to analyze user interest and recommend the product, to product accordingly. Means live real time example about the machine learning using areas or applications, Netflix as well as Amazon. Especially they are mainly focused on the streaming, OTT streaming. Means they may be based on the user requirement or based on the human constraints. Are using human needs. It provides the most, watch the movies, or watch the movies by their own. And interest, their own interest, they provide some platform. Based on your interest, based on your interest, for example, you can you have some favorite hero as well as heroine. When you can watch that movie, favorite hero or heroine movie, next time the same hero or heroine movie release automatically there is some notification from that. Netflix or maybe Amazon. So, like that, we require some mechanism. Means some machine learning is required. Mechanism is machine learning. We require some system help. 
So for that reasons, we have concluded some key points about the machine learning needs. What are the key points are there especially about the machine learning? What are the main key points? The first one is, is based on the previous conversation, we have tried to conclude about the where there were some key points. Rapid increment in the production of the data. Means day by day data is increased. Rapid. Means dynamically increased. And so next segment is solving complex problems which are difficult to for a human being. Means the machine learning play a role to solve the complex problems. Especially that problems are not handled by the human being. And next one, decision making in various sectors including finance. Means decision making in various sectors including finance means about the credit card application or loan application process, approval of the application, loan application or credit card application. Either may be approved or may disapproved. It is about somewhat difficult. We may be under the, we go to the each and every going, it's surrounding banks and collect some information so and so. It is not good. And next one is finding hydrogen pattern, uh, hydrogen patterns, hidden patterns and extracting useful information from the data. Means some unknown information, unknown patterns may be generated, unknown patterns may be finding by some researchers. We can read some information from, that, from them. So in that context is also machine learning help is required. So finally, mainly three, four points are there. Four key points are there about the need of the machine. First one is rapid increment in the production of the data. Second one is solving the complex problems which are difficult by the human being. And third one is making decisions in complex uh, decision about the financial issues and finding patterns and extracting useful information from the data. I can conclude my today's day based on the uh, with everybody. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.